Okay, I need either one of these. I may need this. Definitely need my Lelia Salkiana. Oh, guys, I don't want to do this. So I'm hoping that this video is as fast as what I'm thinking of in my head because this orchid shouldn't be disturbed. <sighs> in my Rapiculus Lelia update, I was very proud to see a second new growth coming out here because I was observing how the rocks would affect new growths coming out of these two front leads, and it happened to be successful here on one lead, but not on the other, and then she compensated for a new growth back here, but it has failed, much to my annoyance, and I am just wondering if it was a bit too humid around that area. I don't know, but I have to get the orchid out. The active root growth <laughs> has already been and gone, so whatever is growing now is growing based on the root system that had grown maybe four weeks ago when it stopped to focus on the new growth. I'm just hoping that maybe the season isn't too late for it to start a new growth when I release the orchid out of the pot. And I'll only know which one or what I'm going to need here <laughs> until I get her out of the pot. So <laughs> here goes nothing, especially Rapiculus Lelias don't like their roots disturbed. I have no intention of cutting any old roots away. I want her out and back in as fast as possible. And before she comes out, because she's giving, here's the thing. I'm very late afternoon, early evening, because I want her to be able to relax during the night. If I had done this in the morning, she would have had to deal with the temperatures during the day. So <laughs> I'm trying to be as calculating as possible with what I'm doing here. Oh. Okay, uh, la 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 la. I don't want this to fall apart on me. Let's see what happens. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that you joined me. Oh, please give this video a like as well while you're at it. Okay. Oh, we don't need that high water retentive media anymore. I'm going to bank on the fact it's going to get much drier. So we have a beautiful root all the way down there. And that is all I really want to do. The only question is, do I want her in a 15 centimeter pot or a 13 centimeter pot? Yes, Rapiculus Lelias like to be pot bound, root bound, etc. I'm thinking long term not to have to do this again. And I think I'm going to go with the bigger pot and really, you know, <laughs> take my chances here by going oversized in comparison to the orchid. I won't be needing my mozzarella basket. The idea being, if she had been all loosey-goosey, I would have had the mozzarella basket settled in here, in a pot with lava rock already around it, placed my orchid in, and then filled up around her. I don't think I need to be doing that. She's looking just fine, nicely put together there. So I'm gonna take my medium-sized lava rock, we're not adding any more ceramis, but I'm not removing any ceramis either. I'm gonna put my tag in, so there's no jiggling when it's time to deal with the orchid. Oh, I'm trying to do this very slowly, but fast enough. I'm not trying to, you know, get ahead of myself, but I don't want this to drag out. I'm gonna wet the lava rock at the bottom. I'm taking medium-sized lava rock because of the size of the pot. I do want a little bit of semi-hydroponic water retention going on during the warmer months of the year, but not with the ceramics and not with the sand that I used back in the day to get this orchid established. So I'm gonna take what I have in the center and make a little mound or even take out so that I can get my orchid in without squashing the roots. They're lovely. Oh, they're lovely. Come on. I got ahead of myself with a lava rock. You can tell I'm anxious. It also helps with removing some of the ceramics. I always put my tag by the holes there 
so that I know when I'm moving the orchid around, I know exactly where the semi-hydroponic holes are. She has a direction of growth. Again, what I'm trying to do is take advantage of the fact that maybe I'm not too late in the season and I can encourage her to get another new growth now that the pseudobulb in question has space. That would be awesome. I still need to get rid of more lava rock because I don't want her that high in the pot. The reason I'm using medium-sized lava rock is because I also don't want the roots at the surface to have to do much searching to get down into the pot. That's the level I like. Yeah. And now we'll just fill in with what's left on the table. And if need be, I have more lava rock. <laughs> and yes, I am picking up ceramics, but that's okay. The pot is so much bigger now that it's going to be okay. The reason I don't want it as humid in this pot anymore is because of my high humidity that I experienced in June. It was insane. I had consecutive days and nights, 85 to the nights being 90% humidity. And if that were to repeat itself, then the media doesn't have to be that water retentive. It is easier for me to just flush the pot through with more water as opposed to trying to get it to dry out should the conditions repeat themselves, not just for this year, but for the seasons to come. I was really hoping I wasn't going to need to do this. That root needs to go and stay down. I have her nicely centered. We have a clear direction of growth, but if this side here would start another new growth, then the orchid being in the middle is going to be so much better long term. What an annoyance. I was so happy that it got its way around from that one suitable being so up against that rock. And I just thought, good on you, good on you. And then, ah, how things can change in a couple of weeks. Now she's nice and damp in the pot, but there was a root here that was wet and the lava rock is dry. So I'm just gonna wet that down and I'm gonna wet this down. But that's all there is to it really, because <laughs> I didn't want to be fussing. I wanted her in and out. I didn't want her to kind of notice that anything at all had happened. Did I mention that this is Lelia Esalkiana? <laughs> Probably not. This is Lelia Esalkiana. She, she did bloom for me, but it's been a while, so <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, you can see how things are settling as I moved the pot around, so we'll just fill up just in here. And if there is a rock now in the way, it'll only be temporary because yes, they do have the capacity of moving rocks around, shifting things so that they can grow, which is wonderful to observe. With the exception of a new growth couldn't make it because of the conditions and the very water retentive media based on previous conditions. But yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so glad this is done and I hope that we got away with it. I don't need this orchid dumping her roots. I need her to continue growing as per. So that was a quickie. <laughs> Happy that my plan worked. Happy that you were here. Thank you so, so much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is in real time with the exception of a few edits from background noise. Like the video for me and my Asakiana, please. Subscribe to the channel. That would be amazing support for the two of us as well, plus the 300 plus other orchids that are on the patio. Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition, though. Please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.